The Osborne EB3 Miter Guide takes just a few minutes to assemble and set up, ready for use. On opening the box, you should find a fully illustrated instruction book, a warranty registration card, two small hardware packages, the pre-assembled body of the EB3, abrasive and glide tapes, and a self-adhesive tape measure. The main body and fence section is largely pre-assembled. Unfold it, loosen the angle clamp knob, and slide the inner brace into the black outer brace, then retighten the knob. The handle simply screws into a pre-tapped hole in the miter bar. The fence extension is commonly used on the left side of the EB3, but for packaging purposes comes installed on the right. Just loosen the lock knobs and reset the extension on the left side. Remove the paper backing from the abrasive and apply it to the smooth face of the fence. Leave about 1 16th of an inch at the bottom of the fence showing. If the abrasive is flush with the fence bottom, bits of aggregate can scratch the tabletop. Apply pressure over the entire surface with the palm of your hand or with a hard rubber roller. Removing the fence makes this process a lot easier. The strip is oversized. Trim the excess by running a utility knife against the edge of the fence all the way around the outside. Keep the excess from one end to cover the face of the extension. Apply the glide tape to the bottom of your fence to reduce friction and ensure that your miter guide slides freely across your table saw. While it's obvious that a measuring tape on a movable fence can never be fully accurate, it is a handy reference to have. We suggest setting the fence of the EB3 as close to the blade as you would normally operate it. Set your rib fence against the EB3 fence and use it as a guide to set the tape on your EB3 fence. The flip stop comes pre-assembled. To attach it to the fence, simply slip the head of the bolt into the T-slot on the top of the EB3. There are three adjustment slots in the guide bar to ensure that it exactly fits the miter slot of your saw. To adjust, insert the hex key into the set screw at the center of the slot. Adjusting the screw up or down will expand and contract the width of the bar. Adjust each slot until you eliminate lateral play but still have smooth sliding action all along the miter slot. The fence extension can telescope out of the main fence, allowing the flip stop to be used on longer pieces. As much as 46 inches on some saws with the body and the fence extension all the way to the left. Simply loosen the clamp knob and slide the extension out to the desired distance. To set commonly used angles, position the fence in the vicinity of the desired angle. Compress the detent plunger on the underside of the outer brace and move the fence until the plunger seats in the hole. Then tighten the angle clamp knob and release the plunger. After setting an angle, the lateral position of the fence relative to the blade will often need to be reset. Simply loosen the two fence clamp knobs, slide the fence to the desired position, then lock securely. When it becomes necessary to work on the opposite side of the blade, the EB3 can easily be reversed. Remove the fence clamp knobs located on the fence mount and separate the fence from the mount. Loosen the angle clamp knob and pull the inner brace out of the outer brace. Rotate the fence mount and the outer brace to the opposite side of the guide bar and reassemble. and reattach the fence to the fence mount. If needed, the flip stop can also be configured left or right handed. Simply unfasten the nut and bolt, reverse the procedure, ensuring that the washers go back where they belong, and reassemble. Tighten the nut and bolt until the stop can flip but has no side to side play.
Your EB3 was precisely calibrated at the factory. Do not attempt resetting the calibration unless your cuts are showing signs of unacceptable deviation. To calibrate, set the miter guide to 90 using the detent plunger. Lock the arm in position with the angle clamp knob. Loosen the lock screw inside the outer brace using the Allen key provided. Rotate the eccentric adjuster left or right until the guide is at a true 90. Confirm the angle with your calibration square. Then carefully retighten the lock screw. With proper use and care, your EB3 will give you a lifetime of amazingly accurate cuts. And we promise to keep your EB3 working properly as long as you own it. Find out more at www.osbornmfg.com.